Glorified for centuries with characters like Robin Hood and Butch Cassidy, bank robbers are often portrayed as a more refined class of criminal, and they're often romanticized in movies and novels as being perhaps a bit brainier and certainly more intriguing than most. In the video today, we're looking at the top 10 bank robbers of the 21st century. Number 10. The Agricultural Bank of China Robbery, 6.7 million from 2007. The largest bank robbery in China's history occurred in April of 2007, when a cash total of what was equivalent to $6.7 million was embezzled from the Agricultural Bank of China. The robbery was done by two vault managers with the help of two security guards from the branch. Purchasing tickets for the Chinese lottery with the money they had stolen with the intent of winning it back and more from gambling, one manager surprisingly managed it once, but the second manager failed at the second attempt. Soon thereafter, other branch managers discovered the missing money and notified police and those involved were arrested. The heist also included three accomplices, a landlord, a cab driver, and a car saleswoman. All accomplices were found and the two bank managers were later executed for their displays of bank robbing bravado. Number 9. The 2009 Bank of Ireland Robbery – $9 million, 2009 in February of 2009 at the Bank of Ireland in Dublin, the largest bank robbery in the Republic went down. Criminals included a junior bank employee who kidnapped another employee and forced him to remove $9 million in cash from the bank as his girlfriend and two others were held hostage. Seven people were later arrested, all believed to be members of a well-known Dublin gang. 1.8 million euros of the stolen cash was located the next day, scattered across Dublin, and in 2010, the man who claimed he was held hostage was also arrested on suspicion that the robbery had been an inside job. Number 8. Northern Bank, $50 million from 2004. Coming in at number 8 is the Northern Bank robbery which took place in Belfast, Northern Ireland. It makes a huge leap from the previous entry of just $9 million, coming in at $50 million, mostly in pounds sterling. In December of 2004, the heist was carried out by a large proficient group of thieves, making it one of the biggest bank robberies in British history. On the night before the heist, two different groups of armed men disguised as police visited the homes of two officials of the Northern Bank. Once at the homes, they held the family's hostage at gunpoint. The following day, when officials were sent to work, some remained with the families being held hostage, while others waited until the bank closed and the bank officials gave admittance to other members of the gang. After the cash was stolen, it was transferred from three different vehicles and family members were shortly released before midnight. With only one person being convicted of money laundering, the investigation is still ongoing and the case remains unsolved. Number 7. The Graf Diamonds Robbery – $65 million in 2009 Coming in at number 7, the Graf Diamonds robbery took place in August of 2009. Nearly $65 million worth of jewelry and gems were stolen, with the diamond theft being committed by two men in the guise of customers. Once in the store, the two men produced two handguns and used them to threaten the staff. They made no attempt to conceal their faces from the premises of CCTV cameras, and police later discovered that they had used a professional makeup artist to alter their hair by using wigs as well as their skin tones, and they also had latex prosthetics. Later authorities Authorities discovered that the same makeup studio had helped disguise members of the gang that robbed the Securitas Depot in 2006, which comes in at number 5, so we'll be getting into that in a minute. The thieves left the scene in a BMW, switched vehicles twice, but left behind a cell phone, which meant the police were able to track them down. Up to 10 different suspects were arrested, but the gems and jewels have never been recovered. Number 6. Banco Central Burglary – $70 million in 2005 Tunneling in at number 6 is the Banco Central burglary that took place in 2005 in Fortaleza, Brazil. Considered to be among the biggest bank heists of all time, the burglary was the result of painstaking planning by a small gang of burglars who tunneled over 250 feet to the bank's vault from a nearby property. The robbers used a landscaping business as a front, and this allowed them to move massive amounts of dirt and rock without looking suspicious. The tunnel was expertly constructed and had sophisticated lighting and even an air conditioning system. After three months of digging, the thieves finally broke into the vault and made off with the equivalent of $70 million. Since then, the police have made a number of arrests in connection with the burglary and recovered roughly $9 million of the haul, but the majority of the suspects are still at large. Number 5. The Kent Securitas Depot Robbery – $92.5 million in 2006 Jumping up from the previous entry, now comes in the Securitas Depot robbery from February 2006, and it took place in Kent in England. It makes its reputation as the largest cash heist in British crime history. At least six men abducted and threatened the family of the manager, tied up 14 staff members, and stole what was the equivalent of $92.5 million in banknotes. The manager of the depot, who was abducted while driving, was pulled over by what he thought was a police vehicle due to the blue lights from the front grille. 
One of the criminals approached him in a police-style hat and handcuffed him and put him in their vehicle. He was taken to a farm in West Kent, while at the same time the manager's wife and eight-year-old son were being held hostage at home. They too were then driven to the farm when their depot manager was forced to gunpoint to cooperate or else the family would be killed. The main player of the heist wasn't arrested until 2010, nearly four years later, after having lived it up in the West Indies with the largest sum of money ever stolen. Number 4. The Antwerp Diamond Center – $100 million from 2003 the Antwerp Diamond Center in Belgium houses 160 vaults in which diamond brokers leave their stones. In February of 2003, 123 of these vaults were emptied of $100 million worth of their contents by four people. It took two years to orchestrate the details, with the criminals renting an office space in the building in order to analyze the alarm system and to learn how to bypass it. They stole keys to the vaults and they made copies. On the day of the break-in, they recorded over all of the security cameras. Antwerp police later caught them, but the $100 million worth of diamonds and other gems has never been found. For bypassing some of the world's most comprehensive security systems and two years of meticulous planning, the Antwerp Diamond Heist has to rank in at number four. Number three, Harry Winston Heist, $108 million in 2008. One of the most downright brazen robberies in recent memory was the Harry Winston heist. It went down in 2008 when a group of four men stormed into one of Paris's most exclusive jewelry stores and made off with $108 million in diamonds. The men were disguised as women and armed with magnum guns as well as a hand grenade. They quickly herded the employees and customers into the corner and started breaking open display cases. After filling a suitcase with precious stones, they made their escape. With the police suspecting that the robbers, who they nicknamed the Pink Panthers, were part of a large criminal organization. Many years later, some of the jewels were recovered, the men captured, and sentenced to prison. Number 2. Sumitomo Bank in London Heist, $300 million, 2007 Considered one of the biggest in Britain's history at $300 million, this heist took place at the Sumitomo Bank in London in September of 2007, but failed stupidly when experienced hackers made simple mistakes in their transfer form as they were not familiar with the SWIFT system for transferring money internationally. After 23 unsuccessful attempts during the course of two days to wire the money, the fiasco unraveled, revealing two Belgian men and the security chief of the bank as culprits. Chief of the bank, Kevin O'Donoghue, 34, later explained that he had agreed to the heist after the master plan had already been formulated and his family were threatened. The plan almost worked after hackers used a USB memory stick to install keylogger software on workers' computers, which they later used to download their usernames and passwords from both private and business accounts for the bank. After attempting various money transfers, all of which failed, the trio was tracked down and prosecuted. Number 1. Central Bank of Iraq – $1 billion in 2003 the most shocking robbery of the 21st century, based on the amount stolen, takes place in March of 2003, when Saddam Hussein stole nearly $1 billion from the Central Bank of Iraq before the US began bombing. This is considered the largest bank heist in history, with approximately $650 million later being found hidden in walls in Saddam Hussein's palace by US troops. It is believed that this was the bulk of the stolen money. Also, in March, a handwritten note surfaced, signed by Saddam, ordering $920 million to be withdrawn and given to his son Kusei. Bank officials state that Kusei and another unidentified man oversaw the cash, boxes of $100 bills being loaded into trucks during a five-hour operation. Kusei was later killed by US troops in a firefight. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. And as always, thank you for watching.